Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be trying a full face of AliExpress makeup. I'm very excited. Definitely recommend you watch this video because there is some really good affordable products. I'm not saying like 10 bucks affordable. I'm talking about $3 affordable. Continue to watch to find out and don't forget to give this a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. I am actually very excited for this video. So I've been collecting AliExpress makeup for a couple months now. I bought like so many products and they ship individually. I placed my order on the 10th of July, January, February, March, April, May, June, June. Shit. I placed my order on the 10th of June and it is now 3rd of September. It's a week off from being three months that everything's come, which is quite embarrassing. It's been a while. I still don't have two products, but I'm just going to film because I wanted to. I try to get some dupes that I already have and just to see how funny it actually is. I'll try to find the picture of what it looks like to how it is in real life because some are fucking hilarious. But yeah, I know people don't like to buy fake makeup because you don't know what's in it and you really don't, but I'm just going to do it for the lols and just hope I don't get some sort of disease. I'm pissed. I literally can't even see the screen from here and I couldn't see that it wasn't recording. Fuck. Wow. Well, wow. First I applied, I'm not gonna pretend and like redo this situation, pretend this didn't happen. I'm just gonna tell you what happened. This is the 24K gold serum. It had gold flex. It felt not that bad, but it didn't feel revolutionary. I put this all over my face. And then I was saying that I got the Benefit Professional and it's like a full copy it's insane and that the texture looks like this and anyone who has professional knows it does not look like this this feels like a foundation whereas this is the real one but it's a mini it's like a paste and when you put it on you can't even see it like it just blurs into the skin whereas this one feels like a foundation that is so scary to like put on my face right now feels like there's sunscreen in this this blurred my pores i can't feel like it's very smooth this sun just feels like an actual foundation mixed with the sunscreen to have that tint so that's cool you know if anything happens to my skin i will definitely update you guys <laughs> i also got this black sponge so i'm just gonna go wet this so i don't know if you can tell but it definitely grew it's a good amount of squish to it. I don't think you can go too wrong with a sponge, right? So I bought the Fenty Beauty dupe. You know, it had the same like range of color and like number and everything. It came with this lovely note and it says, oh God, my dear, thanks for your purchase. It's just the funniest thing ever. I get this package and I get the foundation. This is the actual bottle. That's so freaking funny. The back, it says shake well in different languages and English and it says it on that as well. This is 260 which is a bit light for me and look at the shade. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just do one side of each and see or like just do this and just... I think foundation is the most scariest thing to buy on that website. So that is the shade. It feels really thick and like no coverage. What a classic. Um, and this is the actual... I'm just going to get more of this. The pump feels shit. Do that. Ew. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use this beauty blender. It's like separating on my skin. Oh wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna do my full face of the shitty one. Oh, I love when the pump does not work. That is fucking hilarious. Okay. Ha! Huh, wow! What a beautiful pump. I can get so much product out of this. What the fuck is that? That is embarrassing. I don't know if there's like a straw thingo that goes down this and it just broke off or that's that. Let's just get this over and done with. <laughs> I look fucking ridiculous. There's like no coverage. Should I just put some of the Fenty, the real one on? Sorry, I am. Okay, I have no idea if that like made a difference. But I just put a little bit of the Fenty, which I'm not the biggest fan of because I've got the dry skin. So I don't know why I chose to buy this. I do know that they have a new 
hydrating foundation. Might try that later. Foundation shit, don't even bother. So I bought two different concealers. Macfi Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. So this is obviously a dupe for the Maybelline Age Rewind. Same package, same height. I'm in the shade Medium Moyang. Moyen, but I got the shade 3. I have this Lasting Correction Tape Concealer in the shade 3 as well. This is obviously a dupe for Shape Tape from Tarte, which I don't have. I'm just going to compare the shades. So it started off twisting. I don't know if you could hear that now it's not. And this is so rough. Oh my god. So that is the Aliexpress one and that is the normal one. So I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. See, the shade isn't that bad. Not gonna lie, that's not even that bad. Don't you reckon? Like, like it just brightened and it has enough coverage. I have the Tarte Shape Tape one. So yeah, this is in the shade three. Is that one? It's yellowy, I like yellow concealer. It doesn't have the same doe foot applicator that it does. It's just a really average one. Huh, not gonna lie. Both concealers look really good. I don't know about the creasing situation because I don't really crease underneath my eyes. I do recommend these concealers specifically. So far, not that bad, just the foundation was gross. The powder, I only just bought a banana luxury powder. This is obviously a dupe for the Ben Nye banana powder. It's nicely glad wrapped, so I know no one's gone into it. That scares me. That literally could just be baking powder with yellow dye. I would not know. It feels finely milled. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this in this small ass cap. Like it's smooth. I think it just caked up. I feel like that's the powder because it looked so good before. So I feel like if I just used like a normal like face powder that I always do, dry looking. So I think that's from the powder. So I'm just gonna go onto brows. Um, DNM Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Ash Brown. I've tried some shocking pomades in my time. Glass, it looks pretty bougie. And that is not Ash Brown. That's literally the darkest thing I've ever seen in my life. How is that Ash Brown? That's almost granite. It feels really creamy, which I like. Nothing too dry. We know dry pomades are shit pomades. This suits mine, so I feel like I thought you were ash brown. It's something lighter. Would you look at that? It's like a perfect match to my hair. I like this. I recommend it. And it's all free shipping. That's why I like AliExpress, but it's just the waiting time. So I don't recommend it if you need it urgently. It's pretty pigmented, but it's not overboard. Oh my God, I forgot I had another concealer. This is a dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer or whatever. This is in the shade Cust. I don't have an eye base, so I think I'll just use that for that. Use this for that. That's the shade, which I'm just gonna use as an eye base and hope I don't get a rash. I also have the Pop Fill. I think this is an eyebrow gel. Um, small bristles, which is a small brush, which is really good. That is very bloody brown. Oh shit. Oh my God, okay, okay. I can usually use brown products, but not that, cause that's like really like actually brown. That's very pigmented and the brush is good. So I recommend that as well. But the, sh the shades are just fucking whack on the website. I am most excited for the eyeshadow palette. This looked amazing when it came. Beauty glazed rock metal prof makeup professional eyeshadow palette. So I think this was the most priciest one. It looks like this. And the shades look just beautiful, doesn't it? Smells like poison, but that's fine. So I'm just going to go balls deep into Vermil, which is this shade right here. Battery, lots of kickback. So the pigments when you pack it on like that is amazing for what something that's five bucks. Placed the color and I'm going to take caramel, which is a lighter shade to try blend that out and see how the, the blendability of these eyeshadows are. I was very excited to film this. I've been waiting literally three months <laughs> and I guess that's why I haven't posted as much but I've just trying to because I was just waiting for this video so I just didn't want to film anything else but this video but this is going to be the third video I upload but yeah I'm trying to get back into it but I think reviewing like new makeup and stuff is what I enjoy doing most and like being honest with how I feel about them and if they're actually shit I will tell you they're shit so I really hope you guys enjoy these videos and the honesty because that's what I appreciate most from other YouTubers. I just like topped up the red topped up because it was, it lost its pigmentation when I was blending, but that's kind of, 
expected it is a red so i'm assuming they're really hard to make i'm going to use putty these two shades are very similar it is really powdery so i feel like i don't know once you blend over everything like the pigmentation doesn't stick on well to the base but it still shows up it is better than some of the more expensive eyeshadows that i have used Just put some underneath the eyes it's a tad harder to blend not gonna lie the red's like gone and i don't know where the fuck it went i have the quizbet eyeshadow shimmer liquid in the shade 14 bella that's what it looks like it's like the stealer one but that's the stealer one and yeah see like you wish i just can't go wrong and i also have this d n m glitter liner liquid in the shade number one this is a pink glitter try this Glitter primer. Although I don't have a glitter, I'm just gonna use it as a base for the shimmers in the palette. Hand dye yen. Looks like that. This looks like the NYX glitter glue. I know that for a fact because it's like the silver holographic packaging, and that's definitely the NYX one. I'm just gonna cut the crease kind of with it. This shade. It's not wet. Yeah, the glitter glue is helping that out. It looks amazing. I definitely recommend this, hands down. And the glitter shit and the glitter glue i'm gonna try this in my inner corner just to like give it that little pop yeah i recommend these there's so many different shades so if you don't want to spend like 30 40 bucks on one definitely try these like aliexpress is actually pretty decent you just it's just a guessing game i also have this yan kuina bro some of the the names are ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, it's hot. Today is the first day that it's hit 20 degrees. It's the first week of spring here in Australia. And it's so beautiful and I'm stuck inside. This is just a black liquid liner. Oh, wow, that's black. It's not a felt tip. It's a, it's like a sponge. What are they called? Shit. They're felt tips, right? They're not bristles. It's not a brush. I think felt tip. This is a felt tip. This is the spongy material, not the brush. Pretty easy to use. Check it out if you want. It kind of bleed on my hand, like through the lines, but it's not really on my eyes. I have bought a lash glue. This is the eyelash adhesive, similar to Duo lash glue, which I have stopped using because like clogs up in the this shit here so it like stops coming out so every time I put it on it squirts everywhere and it's not I don't want to talk about it I feel sick because I haven't eaten lunch yet I'm so hungry the glue I feel lightheaded that is a problem there's multiple times that I've felt like this lightheaded thing and that was when it's been the month the time of the month and one time I passed out like in my home. Like, I felt so sick. I was dehydrated and I was lightheaded. I went to my mom and I was like, I don't feel so good. Collapsed in her hand. She was panicking. I woke up a couple seconds later crying. Fucking parents like like called the ambulance because they were stressed. They didn't know what was wrong with me, but they came and they like that I was really dehydrated, but I couldn't stand up. Like they I was like laying on the floor for ages and they were like, Can you get up? So I tried to get up. I'd collapse in their hands and i'm like this i don't know what the fuck's going on with me i was crying stressed just like overwhelmed i don't know if that's so dramatic it's probably so dramatic and then they were like okay we're gonna get you to the like the ambulance like car van whatever and then i couldn't walk the guy had to fucking carry me it was so embarrassing and i just had like a drip in me and like i was completely fine i was just dehydrated i guess these are the lashes you know that I buy my lashes off AliExpress. They are the best. And this is what I have. I'm so excited to use these. These look beautiful. I'm just going to use this because whatever. This is what they look like. I'm just going to trim them. I'm also going to spill milk. My first festival. So, so far what I can tell by the glue, it takes ages to dry. It's like a tarish texture. I think it's done a good job. It's hard to tell. Also, these lashes are beautiful recommend these i'm just gonna let i just put a little bronzer feeling a little more myself with color this is the sweetheart blusher kiss beauty in the shade number two this looks very similar this looks like the Too face has a little cute mirror this is the shade shit 
That is so pretty, holy shit. Definitely gonna get more, there's different shades and like that just like, you only need a touch of it. Recommend this hands down. So the reason I haven't been on YouTube for a while is because I wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling like I should film. Compared to like now I do because I just got so much shit done for uni and I feel like there's a weighted like, you know, weight lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I can just enjoy myself. Whereas beforehand, I was really stressed about getting stuff done. I was like, definitely not in the mood to film and be myself because I'd think, shit, I'm fucking boring. Like no one would want to watch it. So I'd feel really shitty about the videos and not want to edit it because I just don't like seeing myself like that, if you can imagine. So that's why I just took like a little break and this is the first video that I feel really good about the video because I'm very excited about making this content. Anyways, um, highlighter. So the first one is less of a piss take, so I'm going to start with that. This is a really crazy packaging. This is the Cosmetics Smardel whatever Shimmer Highlighter um, in the shade number two. This is what it looks like. This is definitely a dupe for the Ofra highlighter. I had a similar, like these two shades, the Nikki Tutorials one, but I broke it and it was the saddest day on my life that's very pretty so I'm just gonna use this on one side of the face oh mate this was like two three bucks as well it's like one of the best highlighters I own <laughs> so pretty oh. the second <laughs> the second one when it came I literally laughed so hard because of the packaging so this is the cosmetics smart it's the same brand highlighter dream glow kit by looking at it it looks like the anastasia beverly hills highlighting kit i don't know if you can see what this is made out of but it's literally that foam like it's literally a piece of foam like it's not plastic or anything like it's foam when it came i was like are you actually kidding me this has four beautiful colors i'm just gonna swatch them as well beautiful what do you mean how do they make highlighters like this? And it literally costs nothing. But anyways, as I was saying, I am going to spill milk this year. It's at the end of November and I'm camping for like three days, two nights. And I really want to vlog that, just getting ready. I'm very excited for my outfit. It's my first ever festival. Haven't been to a festival before. There's like 12 or something of us. Like I should vlog that as well. Make a video of that and do something different. That is beautiful. I'm sorry, what? Definitely recommend everything. Holy shit, doesn't this make you happy? This is Dragon Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I fucking, it's just, it blows my mind. This is what it looks like. The packaging is pretty on point. Shade one and 11. So that's shade one and that's shade 11. I hope you guys enjoy. That smells pretty good. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content that I produce. Yeah, I really want to do more talking ones, but I don't know if you guys are keen on it. More personal ones, story times, more mukbangs. This has like glitter in it. Ew. I'm just going to add a bit of ore number one to matte it down because it's definitely like maybe not the right shade for it. The lipstick, it's already dried. Transfer proof. That's very good. I, oh shit. I had brushes from them and I was going to use them, but they're all already in my collection because I didn't buy them. This was in the past, but I was supposed to use them. The brushes there are really good. There's like different sets. I don't know about the face products, the foundation, no. But the concealers, I reckon, they don't look bad at all. They don't, they're not even creasing. I don't think I like the powder and I don't think I like the primer. You're better off getting liquid face products legitimately. So before I finish off the video, I have one more product. This is... A clean sponge these are the microfiber cleaning things so you just wet it in water and it takes off all your makeup and then you can reuse this and this is like the dupe for the halos so yeah I'm going to test this out and see how this goes I'm very excited because this will save a lot of people money if this works but I don't I've never tried the halo so that could be a bit iffy but before I try that I am going to my outro because of the makeup and I don't want to finish off with a bare face. So I just filmed my intro and outro. <laughs> now I want to try this. It's really soft so I'm going to wet this. Should I bring you along? I should bring you along. I just realized I have to take photos first. I don't know how echoey this is. So I just got done taking the photos and hopefully there's some cute ones for the thumbnail. Anyways, so you just apparently just take off the makeup 
because I guess this is so like good for the environment. It's pretty soft, like it doesn't really irritate my skin even though I look red. Oh wow. <laughs> look at me down, girl. <laughs> Look at my head. Look at me downgrade within seconds. Also take this off. Oh, look at the eyeliner. <gasps> A dollar eyeliner, not bad. Anyways, I'm gonna flip to the other side. I look fucking stupid. And this is red eyeshadow, so it, there's a possibility it could stain. It's done pretty well. So with water, it honest, it does work because like imagine getting a towel and just putting water like it won't, I feel like it won't do this. I definitely think it's done a good job because you can see the difference now of my head. It's definitely got rid of makeup, so. For me, by a beautiful day, whole, that is my backyard. Look how beautiful. Going into my room, this is what I'm working with. That's my stance, that's my light. So I feel like if you wanna try something like that out, definitely go for it. I'm gonna go with a makeup wipe, see how much makeup there is still on my face. I also wanna do like a room tour. So I don't know if that's something worth me doing. And I also changed up my makeup collection a while ago, like the setup. So from that, that's what I've got. I'm not mad about it. Sponge, but yeah, I don't know how easy this is to clean. I, I have no idea how to clean it. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's my outro that I filmed before this mess, so see ya. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I truly recommend some of the products that I've mentioned. I really enjoyed filming this and I hope you guys can appreciate my honesty. I'm always gonna be honest no matter what. I hope you give this a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna try any of these products. If you enjoyed, I really appreciate what you guys have to say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're already here. And if you like this video, I would definitely be keen to do more because I love AliExpress, honestly. So I will We'll see you in my next one.